Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Führerreich, playing as the South African uh, Federation? No, just the Union of South Africa for now. So, uh, let's be direct with you guys right now. So, this is this is kind of where we left off yesterday. It's still April 10th, but basically I restarted the campaign just because there was an emergency update from 0.4.0 to 0.4.1. So, after I loaded up my game, bef after I updated, it was... It could still run, it could still play, but uh, the most notable thing is that I saw when I started up the old game, say, from basically yesterday's video, is that we see the, you know, Rhineland here, the this confederation of the Rhineland area country. For some reason, they owned Lorraine Nord when I loaded that save up, and, you know, I decided, you know what, it's really easy, it's pretty quick for me to just restart the campaign and go basically back to the exact same start date. Now, the world has changed a little bit from yesterday's video, for example... Belgium is a republic. They're not a kingdom. There's no Leopold here. So, no, there's Paul Henri Spock. Uh, yesterday, Czechia, Czechia was, uh, had a demilitarized zone. Well, uh, Adam Dressler just said no and basically just ate them up. Literally just ate them up and now they own Praha, you know, whatever. Uh, the Hamburg Commune is here and they're fighting off the Danes. Uh, what else? We have the Kingdom of Italy, That's which is, I made him go Valkist again. Or hopefully Valkist, or National... Well... Uh, for the war for Italy? Well, I guess we're gonna go National Populist at the moment. Okay, well, whatever. French Republic for French Republic. We still have the Monarchists versus the Nationalists in Spain. We still we now have the Republic of Turkey in Turkey. Led by Izmet and the Soviet Union. They're not led by Kar Kirov, who was leading in yesterday's video, but now it's led by Nikolai Bukharin. So that's a different definite change. Afghanistan actually took a Peshawar from these guys, from you know, Brit the British Raj, so that's a little different. Other than that, we still have the uprising in Insulinda, British East Asia, but I basically, like I said earlier, restarted the campaign just to be safe. I wanted to have safety in for the rest of the duration of this campaign. But we have mass protests in Rhodesia. Today, mass protests paralyze the province of Rhodesia. Motivated by the continued economic crisis and lack of autonomy, the protesters have successfully shut down most of the area's industry. While the United government has conceded token promises, the ANC has promised the province an independence or referendum if they are elected, elected next year. Going easy on them now may convince some voters to stay home next June, but if we do nothing, we risk losing the entire province to violence. As much financial aid or... Send in the tanks. We shall send in the tanks, because we want to go national populist become free. We are very national populist now. And I'll let you know, I did the exact same focuses, pretty much the exact same decisions as we did yesterday. We've got some dockyards, I have a destroyer, we got some naval XP. I haven't done defensive tactics, I went with other ones for now. I'm doing lust taxes, just like yesterday, so it's... Trying to get to this point in the game really is not too bad. Just, you know, was like 15, 16 months or something like that. And it's not exactly... Same as yesterday's, but that's okay. You know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Where are we going to end up in this episode? I'm not really sure. Uh, I've changed a couple of these divisions to make sure that they're 20 combat with normal infantry divisions. I did change these around just a little bit. So we have our district force, which is our main infantry, so like 20 combat with. I'm going to throw artillery on these bad boys eventually. And then we have district brigade, which are okay. We have district command. And using the army XP from, like, the first army focus, I just made coast guards with engineers. Engineers are so good. We need engineers on our main forces too because fighting through Africa, we're going to need it for rivers, hills, maybe even mountains. But we have the ANC leaders tour the country. Various leaders from the African National Congress have begun touring the country in an attempt to revive dormant branches of the party and gain a better foothold among voters for the upcoming elections. While the ANC has traditionally been viewed as a party within, with very, very little chance of victory, party leadership also announced today that it will be joining with the Labour and Dominion parties in a liberal coalition. Should the three parties gain a combined number of seats to form a new government, it intends to implement a series of new liberal reforms to address the nation's many issues. Let's see. Their publicity stunt appears to be working, or perhaps we should make their trek a little bit more <clears throat> difficult. Yes. Cool, but we're still 45% national populace. Empire Day! Uh, like I said yesterday, this is going to happen every year until we, we become independent. So, to the health of the Empire and our friends abroad, yes. Friends until we're no longer friends. And we have no agency, which it's fine since we don't have any factories. We've got less taxes, which is good. We have nine civilian factories, minus 12% construction speed because, well, London stock market crash isn't good for everyone. But let's do something new. We haven't done the elections yet, which is fine. 
To get to Crisis Resolved, we need additional dockyards, which would be very cool to get more convoys, but we really don't need more convoys right now. Industrial Unity would be really cool, but we don't really need that either. We could expand the arsenal, get more guns, which was something that we could really, really use. So economic revitalization comes in all forms. One of the most effective is investment in arms and munitions factories, which create jobs and provide for our future common defense, or offense. And we could really use those 5,000 guns, because we are in a sort of a deficit because I want to make more regular infantry divisions, as well as Coast Guard divisions. And I need more military factories. We have three on guns and on nothing else. Which is a little, uh, in my opinion. Oh, look at that. Wow. The reason I like making the destroyer is because you, you can repair these so fast, and it gives you so much XP if you only have a single ship. So, improved machine tools. Uh, it's 1937. I already have that done. This is going. That is going. We might want to get some synthetic refineries, but we got to make sure we got to get some good subs, because like I said yesterday, we want a naval... A submarine fleet for the most part because they're cheap actually oh I can issue a civilian factory commission that'd be great I don't remember which ones I chose yesterday for laws and government ministers military staff companies I did already choose the industrial company generic industrial company just because we could I'm um, already on partial mobilization which is fine I might have raised my conscription yesterday I can't remember it doesn't really matter I'm gonna invest in another civilian factory so I can have another one and South African collectivists announced their election plans. The South African collectivist party today announced their plans for the upcoming elections for several months now. They've been fueling speculation among the relatively low voter base that they intend to cast their support for the ANC Labour Dominion, Dominion Coalition. Today, party leaders have announced their intentions. The SACP has chosen to endorse the ANC Coalition in all of its races for the House, or the SACP has chosen to fight for its own seats in the House. Uh, let's have a little bit more fun with national collectivism, as we can. And we've got some dispersed industry. Even though the SACP, only 1.45% really like them. Cool. So we're doing that. We're getting some subby boys. Uh, to make subby boys better. What do we do? Is it turreted secondary battery? Probably not. Anything really here? I mean, we enable mines. I never, I never use mines. I never really saw a point of using them. These guns, those are nice for those types of ships. Subs are cheap, which we'll probably get magnetic detonator, which will be very important. Fleet speed, that's pretty good to do. That's okay to do. Sonars, radar would be good to do as well. That's kind of nice. But really, there's not much we could really do. We have snorkels over there, but that's for later. It's 1937, of course. Eh, we could get better artillery. Let's get some better planes. Because I remember I researched that yesterday. I think. I think I did. Come on, and... I also did take a decision to raise my stability for a little bit. Status quo. Yeah. Good. Expand the arsenal. And let's strip reservation protections. So, for too long we've granted special status to the native reservations in our country. Strip their protections and open them up to mining and construction operations, just like the rest of our lands are subject to. Good. Because we could totally use more chromium. Never have enough. Ooh. Ah, we've just enough. I was trading, I think, with the Empire of Japan for steel, but we don't need any more steel at the moment. Good. Construction 2. Awesome. I guess we could probably get synthetic oil refineries just in case. Like, we don't get that much fuel. And with this destroyer, we don't use much, but when we have more subs, subs don't use a lot of fuel either, but it's still good to do. Still good to do. So, the Republic of Turkey. Uh, Italy has not become a Regno d'Italia yet. And I guess we have Rex Commissariat Bowman. Bowman. Cool. Moravia. Bohemia. And I guess this is now an occupied state by Deutsches Reich. Don't, I think they have a... Don't they have a focus eventually? To do... Yeah, Sudetenland is now core. South Sudetenland, east. Invade? Well, they already invade. They literally already invaded. I mean, that was off screen. That happened in like January of 1937. Yeah, they'll get cores on this eventually. Which would be good for them, but you know, whatever. We have the French Republic, Dutch state, and Solinda. Oh, Austria is having a little bit of a problem here. We have an Austrian state versus. Oh, national populace with Mr. Mustache there. And then we have Mr. Disturbed and kind of disgruntled Otto. Okay, which is right, you are having a time against the Socialist Republic, the ASR, versus the... Oh. Okay, so you just A all of Austria. Mm, whatever, I mean, it's... Whatever. <laughs> I don't really care, that's fine with me. And the winner is... Oh, look at that! Oh, we got strip reservation protections at the same time we have the election. The long-awaited elections are finally here. London watches on 
anxiously as South African voters head to the polls to choose their next government for the next five years. Whether the United Party will hold on to power, the ANC coalition will take charge, or the purified National Party will oppose its own form of order will have been determined by their impressions on, on the voters over the past several months. The last two years of party mergers, controversial legislation, economic collapse, and strikes and riots have led to this. Mm. And the winner is... Give it a day. Ah... Uh... The Nationalists win the election. The Purified National Party, working alongside the controversial Rus Party, has managed to win a majority of the seats in the House of Assembly. Initially founded as a breakaway party from the United Party, the PNP has long advocated for more intense levels of segregation and leaving the empire entirely. A new wave of political uncertainty has hit South Africa. We get stability. I love stability. Something good, something bad. Well, something bad, was it? It's something different. Something good, something old, something different. Now, we could do this get more construction speed, output cap, and stability. Economic recovery, really? That's not terrible. That's really not too bad. It's not great. But uh, we'll go do some stuff here down this patch, because even though we can encourage violence and have government police, balkism, take back our nation for more war support, reservation, less stability, more national populism. Factory output looks pretty cool. Uh, I love the civilian factories. Judicial seizure looks kind of negative, but it's not too bad. Military crackdown, it's not bad. Lockdown Rhodesia. Now, we want to do that eventually. Unlimited power. Well, I definitely want new courts. We get more daily political power game. More stability and factory output. That's exactly what I want right now. New constitution seems cool. And shrine segregation. Feel like I'm playing a pelipath here from Kaiserreich. And remove bad national spirits. Nice. Ooh, new courts. Independent society. Yeah. Wait. Did we get that twice? Independent society. Remove stuff, but we get a second independent society. That could be really good, but let's do that something bad. Or really something different. The Purified National Party, created as an extremist alternative to the United Party, has won enough seats in combination with the Rus Party to form a new coalition. The Empire should shudder in fear. Actually, what is the Empire even doing? I have no idea. They're social conservatives now. They're not authoritarian Democrats like they were yesterday. They might not like that, that we went a certain route that they might not like. Hmm. We don't know. Which way are they going? Austerity? No, full, well, Mosley's plan, full austerity, or ending intervention. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Maybe the grid locked. And there it goes. God dang, this is a stronger Germany than we left off yesterday. Or should I say, Deutsches Reich. The new prime minister, now that the nationalist coalition between the PNP, Central, and OB parties have assumed power in Pretoria, the time has come to choose the nation's new prime minister. Two men have put their names forward, Tilman Rus and D.F. Malan. And Malan is historically the guy who led South Africa in, for a while. Rus has a, led a breakaway party for several years now and has de demonstrated an uncanny ability to lead around a cult of personality. If chosen, he is sure to be effective, though he may take away from a grand vision. Malan, on the other hand, has been the architect behind our victory, and has long planned for the future we will now strive to create. He would be the obvious, if not of offensive, choice. Whichever man we choose will lead our country through t trying times ahead, so we must make our choice carefully and wisely. Milan, which gives us less political power, but more consumer goods. And Teal Rus, which uh, give us less political power for more stability and war support. Well, I want to go historical, even though this is a completely ahistorical game. And actually, Milan apparently is French. I think he's a descendant from a French Huguenot or something like that, so... I'm just going to go with Milan, which you can find in real life. Several black and white photos. And hopefully he'll become Prime Minister soon. Because Patrick Duncan, you are out. You are out, man. You are done. Oh, look at that. Imperial Conference Economic Policy. At this year's Imperial Conference, many issues have been raised both by the Dominions and by the mother country. One of these topics is the issue of the Imperial Economic Policy, and it would appear that the policy of the Empire in the future has been chosen as expected we are receiving the benefits of said policy, and will continue to do so as long as we remain loyal to the British. Ooh, infrastructure construction speed. That's not going to help me at all. Imperial Conference of 37. Foreign Policy, yesterday afternoon. Following intense discussion during this year's Imperial Conference, the British government issued a formal pr proclamation stating that they wished to pursue renewed imperialism across the globe. Met with less than concealed hesitation and anxiety by many of the Dominions, West Westminster seems relatively unconcerned over our protestations to the matter. Some within our government believe that by sending them a formal note of protest, we may at least put some degree of diplomatic pressure on Britain to backtrack some of these statements. Uh, we could do that. If they want to do more imperialism, imperialism isn't too bad. Well, we'll stand, we'll stand with them, because, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And it looks like Brazil, well, they still have a three-way civil war down there. Uh, oh, yeah, Mexico went Volkist. 
Uh, so they pursue the imperial status quo. The most pressing issue at this year's imperial conference is Britain's own policy regarding the empire and the status of the dominions and colonies. As expected, the mother country has decided to pursue the status quo and preserve the empire in its current state, despite the many protests and demands from many dominion representatives, namely the Canadian representative, for increased autonomy in line with their sacrifices in the name of the empire. Well, stability for thee, but I don't really care. We're going to be leaving this place as fast as possible. So, integration, status quo. It would have been much more interesting to see if they went with it with if they went with an imperial federation. But you know what? We're leaving them anyways. We're ditching them for ourselves. Recognize Dominion Parliament's status quo. Strengthen the bonds, which would be kind of good. We we'll get some division organization. Promote imperial trade. I get convoys from them eventually if we stay with them for a while. More research speed and empire of unity. If I stay with them and they do an empire of unity, do I get that these? The Imperial Unity's national focus, even after I leave? Hmm. That sounds like fun. Anyway, something different. Something different, we'll say. So let's take back our nation. With a newfound victory and control over the government, we must be swift in enact enacting legislation to cement our hold on power and solidify our control over its institutions. A little bit more war support is always welcome in our country. Always welcome. Hmm. And a 1936 submarine hole. Thank you very much. That would that'd be a waste of time. So we're done with the subs for now. But how about we get trade interdiction? Even though we get a, we get a bonus of fleet and being, I think, with our national focus. Let's see. Union, Navy. Oh, just naval doctrine, subs. We get a small... That's a, that's a really small bonus for subs. Naval doctrine. Very cool. So let's have the best naval doctrine known to Africa. Yes. Which we're going to focus really hard on the right side here. Oh yeah, this would be nice. That would be very good. Let's see. I could do stuff with a cabinet. We could nationalize foreign industries. We could raise our stability up a little bit more, which actually might be very good for us. We could get some more, more war support as well. If I raise my popularity, was that going to really do anything for me? Probably not. Let's do a civil crackdown for now. We lose 0.25 political power day. We get 0.9 now. It'll pay off when we get more stability. That'd be nice. Let's see, very good. And I want to make sure we get as much naval XP to get as far into that naval doctrine as fast as possible, because naval doctrine can literally break, make or break your navy. Like, it's ridiculous. And you are a good, regular South African division. Great. Mm, can we get a general field marshal, perhaps? Piet Ferron. Hello, Piet. That's, oh, oh, the Portuguese Republic was annexed. Oh, I forgot about that they were in a civil war. All right, well, whatever. The Kingdom of Portugal is back. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, hello, Manuel III. Militarism, that's cool, I guess. Go ahead and do that. Two divisions at a time, pick back our nation. And let's enjoy the fruits of more political power once we do the courts. But judicial seizure. The current courts are corrupt beyond measure and controlled by interests in London. We must take the reins and completely restructure the system to be more accommodating to our agenda. Just casually take over the courts, that's all. Italian Libya, Kingdom of Italy... Uh, because they're still trying to kill a war with each other, or have a war with each other. Let's get some elastic defense, mobile defense, good stuff. Denmark is slowly killing off the Hamburg Commune, so, uh, you know, whatever. What are the casualties like in this Danish Hamburger war? Holy crud, that's a lot of dead hamburgers. Wow. They must have went mass assault doctrine or something. Oh, look, our first coastal defense division. Coasts. Always need some good coast divisions. Always, always, always. You'll be led by some other dude named Jolbert. Th Wait, they're on. Are you related to Piet? They might be. Huh. I guess that's a relatively commonish last name for Afrikaner Boer peoples? I don't know. I don't know that much about South Africa. Except what is commonly known, I guess we'll say. Mm, these guys are still struggling. Makes sense. National Spain has a little bit more territory than they did yesterday. We'll see what happens, though. What is this group doing? They are... Oh, they're a puppet of the French. Mm, the Germans aren't gonna like that. Mm. Yeah. And the Deutsche Reich has it mostly as a core. But that they are a little stronger. The Deutsche Reich is definitely stronger than yesterday since they don't have a demilitarized zone. They have 
Reichs Commissariat Bowman, Boomen, and Austria under them. Judicial seizure. And let's grab some new courts. By consolidating the courts we currently have and replacing any judge who will not swear loyalty to us, we will create a nation that we can easily mold to whatever shape we desire without worrying about pointless legal battles. So we get point two or two more political power a day. 10% stability, 10% output. That is amazing. Oh, we got finally something positive on guns. If that's the case, I'm going to lower this by two. I want to start making some support equipment. Get some engineers on our guys. I want to have good, good infantry divisions. That's done. That's good. We could get some some scout planes. I'm not going to waste time on that right now, though. Next. Good, good, good. Motorized will be important later on. We have a few convoys, which is nice. And how is this single destroyer doing? Are you still... Tri You're repairing. You nearly killed yourself. You're 33% health. Jesus. Hmm. Colony? Hmm. For now. 1.02. And National Australia? Yeah, I might just raise my level of... Uh, popularity in the country. Grand Republic of Central... What the? America. Libertarians? Well, I mean... Can you be any more specific? I mean, are you... What is it? Socialist Libertarians? Or m Maximalist? Or Communist? Yeah, there's different types of Libertarians, supposedly. Which there are. New courts. Ah, oh, I love it. New courts. Unlimited power. What we could do. Let's grab legislative independence. So, London's protest means nothing to us. They have held control over our nation for too, far too long. It's time we took our own freedom. We must free ourselves from London's legislative control and begin writing our own laws. And then we will do imperial concerns maybe next. Maybe. It'll be time to do that. The Hellenic Republic. What are you guys up to? Normal Greek state. Market liberals. They like making a lot of dollars. Another dip oh yes. Very nice, my friends, very nice. We're gonna put your boys up there for now, just so that we can say we're doing well or we're doing something with our lives. Ah, oh, the army is special. And looks like the ships were hurt again. Hmm. But look how fast it repairs. It just 0 0.36 0 0.306 a day is so good. It's almost 1938. Let's go and grab some more research speed. Legislative independence. Good, more factories will be great. Be amazing. And then after that, we can build a lot more factories. Ooh, there, there. We might consider doing it in Natal. We get more resources that way too. Even though I'd like to use this for dockyards. If we can take like Mozambique. Or even North Rhodesia. That'd be good. We need more space to expand. Ah, oh, very good, my friends. Let's do some imperial concerns, though. When it comes to foreign policy, the British Empire is our foremost object to, of attention. It is time we decide once and for all how to approach our position in its ranks. Absolutely happy 1938, my friends. 1938, more political power, good. 1.52 a day, that's not enough, but it's, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty darn good. We could use some radar. Let's get some better guns first, though. Or be able to use our firearms more effectively. What's going on here? Asia, well, Japan is Japan, I suppose. The United States and Brazil is gone. They're not killing anyone yet. They guarantee the independence of the Russian Republic. A divine right. Foundation of the IRAA. Looks like we could use a little bit more manpower. We definitely need more guns now. That's okay to keep on there. I need artillery as well. Just a little bit more artillery. Uh, war propaganda might be good as well. Can't go to wartime mobilization, which is fine, whatever. Oh, well, that doesn't matter at all. Let's grab... Eh, war propaganda sounds pretty nice. We're only 59%. If we go on the offensive, that wouldn't be good either, so, which would lower our war support. So let's just make sure we get higher for now. Back in my day, man, this, this country had a focus tree, and they took it out. It's so disappointing. And I remember the days where they used to have Transylvania as an independent country as well. Hmm, those were the days. But we could challenge London. If we really wanted to, declaration, summon House of Assembly, arrest the dissenters, leave the IPA. So let's do Challenge London for far too long. We've lived at the whims of men thousands of miles away from South Africa's troubles. Our dream of a greatness must be realized independently of them. Let us break with London. Break the chains with London. They're too busy elsewhere to try and stop us. Break those imperial chains. Definitely need to raise conscription, though. Ah, and I definitely want to get that, too. Just get as many factories as possible. Oh. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Tibet, Sichuan, Yunnan, Sichuan, like chicken. Hmm. British Empire Games in 1938. An intense competition. Thank you, my friends. 
interwar artillery. Let's grab some radar. So that's what we're doing one on better guns and stuff like that. Alright, we should see Italy eventually doing something else. But yeah, they definitely went national populace this time. I wish I could see, like, which focuses they're currently working on, what they've done. I've never played as Italy in Führerreich. Someday, though, probably. Probably. Challenge London. Imperial status quo. Dominion nations controlled by the AI will never assist in the UK's wars unless this national spear is removed. Huh. That's, an, that's good to know. Challenge London. Great. Unlimited power sounds like a lot of fun, not gonna lie. But we could uh, prepare a declaration. The time has come to declare our independence. Write up a formal declaration of our independence from the Empire. For the love of God, I hope the UK doesn't try to come strike me down, because that wouldn't be fun. But it might be a little fun. Yeah, we've got two Coast Guards. Look at that. And these guys aren't too bad since they have engineers, which I need engineers for all these adjusters for forests. More mobility. A little bit more mobility. More defense. More defense in hills. Jungle, which we absolutely need. Marshes. Forts, of course. Amphibious assaults and rivers. Crossings. Super important. I wonder if we can get another military factory. That'd be kind of nice. Look at that war support. Mmm. So good. We're building more civilian factories. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. If we go over, get to five, minus five steel, I will trade for more steel. And there goes Das Deutsche Reich. They are splitting up the Hamburg Commune between them and the Danes. Let's see how this... Oh, what's actually happening here? So, the Hamburgers, they've lost quite a few guys. Denmark has only lost 29,000. 3%, 96%. We'll see what happens since I think... I'm pretty sure Deutsche Reich still has... You know, a few tanks. They could probably smash through to get to Hamburg pretty easily. But we've declared, or we're preparing a declaration. Let us have some in the House of Assembly. We must call a special session of the House of Assembly to address our withdrawal from the Empire. Any members of the House who are absent will have their seats vacated. Now is no time for patience. That's a lot of political power. National populism. I never choose this. I kind of want to see what happens. Because right now, if we do that, we have 0.45 political power. We'll see what happens. And I want to raise my conscription level. Limited conscription, 0.45. It takes a little bit of time for this to adjust itself, which is okay. Research speed, eh, it's going on okay. Keel is the capital now, which makes sense. Come on, nothing, nothing's really changed too much. I could definitely use more manpower. Mishriki Kingdom, Republic of Turkey, hmm, Belgium. Yeah, Belgium might join the French. I don't know, we'll see what happens when, if the Germans hate them. Empire Day, I love Empire Day. It happens on May 3rd. Ah, Empire Day. Yes, we love the Empire until we leave it. Hmm. Oh, I need more guns. I really need more guns. Hmm. Oh, there they go. Nice. Hmm. That's still not enough naval experience. But no matter, I still need the best subs possible now. Or we're not going to have any sort of fleet. So, let's do that. Screw those guys. Let's do that. You guys are coming down to Cape. And we're going to grab one steel from the Rhineland. No, we're going to get, get it from Germany. We'll help them out as much as we can. Even though we have minus one aluminum for support companies, that's still okay. Uh, not bad. 30% world tension is not too bad. How are you guys holding? You know what? For now, go ahead and train. Make sure you guys are pretty good. You guys do the same thing. Portugal. 1.52, that's so good. We can... Uh, nationalizing foreign industries, that hurts our consumer goods. That's okay. After that, then the cap goes down by 5% probably, and I don't like that. Still in the House of Assembly. Arrest the dissenters. We cannot have any dissent within the House for what we're about to do. We must immediately use a capitalist police force to arrest all members of the House who will not swear to pass the Declaration of Independence. Now, we're going to do this. I'm not going to leave the IPA just yet. I want to get to Crisis Resolved first. So I think that'd be pretty good so we can get... A little bit more construction speed, stability, you know, and way more factory output, which would be very nice. I could get rid of open markets to go to regulated markets. Like I said, I think yesterday, that really wouldn't do very much for us. Alright guys, sorry about that, I didn't mean to do that, but apparently the game crashed as I was kind of speaking, so sorry for the fade in, fade out, but it should be okay. Should be. So, we'll see what happens, I don't know. Uh, I don't expect this to be, you know, the perfect mod, but, you know, a crash happens from time to time. But I will let you know if it happens more and more and more. Right now, I want to keep looking at this, make sure we get enough infrastructure. We could have built infrastructure before, but I just want to make sure we had enough factories, which we have quite a few. It's also very interesting to see Serbia. Every time I think I see this, I think Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia, but whatever. 
Alexander's there. We got some of radio. That's good. Let's grab some more. We might be able to throw it on some subs, perhaps. We're still mobilizing. We need more guns, of course, but that's okay. Uh, this is short. We could upgrade it. I. There's really, in my mind, not too much of a reason for me to use s destroyers. Especially if you just kill everyone that you're. Kill all your enemies' navies. That's really the thing. Um. This really doesn't matter too much. Since we have enough political power now. Chief of the Army. I think I went with. Bayers? Buyers? I might choose him. Weapons Manufacturer. That's pretty good to do as well. Getting 0 0.05 political power a day more isn't really great. But we'll do it anyway. CR Stuart. Swart. Not Stuart, but Swart. Cool. Just arrested the dissenters. They've computing machine. Uh, I could leave the IPA. I want to see what the world's going to turn into first, because we can always just leave whenever we want. And of course, leave the Empire. Yes. I want to make sure we're in a very good position before we do any of that. So, like I said, I do want to get Crisis resolved. Additional dockyards would be pretty good for us. But let's get some hand to the markets. Our markets are taking care of themselves. They're taking care of themselves. Will the wealthiest keeping their money, businesses stay open, and the money keeps flowing. Another successful recovery. Great. And research. It is June 1938. We're doing better radar stuff, which is awesome. I might do resource extraction. Naval doctrine seems like a okay-ish idea to do for now. But we're going to wait just a little bit so we have more naval XP first. Um, I'm thinking about doing some of this stuff, but it really won't matter too much, I think. i get some light tanks. Maybe get some medium tanks eventually. Alright, so you guys. Still only one group. That's fine. Once we have some subs coming out, then we can train those guys as well. I would definitely want to see Wolf where we are going. Good, good, good. 1.58 political power a day. Stability, 74%. Very nice. Look at that. 49% national populace. Uh, Patrick Duncan, you're still a leader for now. I think once we become free, we'll be okay. Yep, but I definitely want Milan there. Oh, do we have... Ah, uh, yes, we do. Put him under him. Do that. Do that. Good. Keep training, guys. 0 0.307. That much more okay then, Italy. What are you up to, my friend? So this is Reserve Fleet. No, no, no. South Africa. Subbies Uno. I like that. So that we can do this. Or something like this. Subbies. Yep, Subbies 1. You are not a reserve fleet. You are... Early XP fleet. Good to rename yourself from time to time. Good. And that... Cutting into our fuel just a little bit. I'll destroy the destroyer eventually, because I don't I don't want to use it in actual battles. That's just a waste of manpower. It doesn't cost much to use, but every man is precious where we're going. Every man is precious. About guns, we're doing. Eh, we just created another division, so that's why support companies aren't looking great. Uh, ooh, hand of the markets, great armor divisions. This isn't bad. It's just not very good. Let's go ahead and do additional dockyards, though. Dockyards are vital for ship manufacturing and foreign trade. Building more of them will be an investment repaid tenfold. I'll oh, three more. Heck yeah. Beijing government's having a good time. It looks like Italy is definitely smashing some Serbians. Ooh. Oh, they actually... Oh, wait. They have Albania, Bulgaria, Hungary, and Libya together. Do they have their own faction? Oh, they do have the Pact of Rome. I didn't realize that. Oh, the Intermarium is here with Romania and Poland and Lithuania. Well, that makes sense for Intermarium. The Ukrainians are Ukrainian. Pact of Rome is still down here as well in Turkey. That is unfortunate for you, Serbia. Very unfortunate. Of course, they have the Continental Entente over here, so I'm glad they have their own little faction so I can split them up a little bit. So that's good to see. They have the Tbilisi Pact. Interesting. 1938. What do we want? Probably... Oh, we need better artillery already. We're doing actually extremely well right now. Hmm. Director fired. Does that... That still hurts reliability, which means that's a big no-no for me. Fuel gain from refineries. Hmm. That could be really good. That takes a while. This takes a long time to do. Fuel refining one per oil and from refineries. I think we'll just go for excavation. Because we can maybe just get just a tiny bit more steel. Just a tiny bit more. Oh. Wait, when did Persia join the Imperial Protection Alliance? 
uh, Mohammed, when did you do that? Do you have a focus tree, Mohammed? You do have a focus tree! Why have I not played as Persia yet? Interesting. We got some mobile defense. Uh, I don't have line. I have no line infantry, period, so that wouldn't make sense for us to do. Nationalized foreign industries, over that, nah. And Spain is still struggling with itself. It looks like they made an encirclement here. An encirclement here. It looks like the nationalists are going to die, but it's going to take some while. And let us do industrial unity. So, our subsidies, constructions, and expansions have resulted in an economic and industrial unity never before seen in our nation. We must harness it for good use. Get more max factories. I love max factories. Still building up Natal some more, so that's why I can build it stuff in here very quickly. Or at least more quickly. That'll be good. And still building up more civilian factories. We have a total of 19 going and acting. I'd love to have it just build up another free military factory. The second Leticia War is going on with Colombia declaring war in Peru. Good luck, guys. I would hate to fight in the jungle, which... Well, frankly, we're going to get there eventually anyways. What are you doing, Germany? Demand Lithu... Oh. Demand Lithuania. Hmm. What is Slovakia up to? Oh, they are allied. Okay, so... Oh, so now the Stahl Pact is actually here. Wow, there's... Argentina's having a time. Well, okay, whatever. They're having a time with Lithuania and tomorrow... Oh, are these guaranteed... Germany? Are you making a smart move by taking these guys out first before you go to war with the Continental Entente? Because that might be a smart move. That might be a very smart, very, very smart move. Air Force, Army... I want more attack, definitely. Let's get our uh, infantry equipment manufactured just so we get a little more research speed first. Because it's almost 1939. We'll want to research guns, which will be very good to research. And we get more soft attack and breakthrough. I love breakthrough so much. Uh, it's a little, just a teeny bit ahead of time for me, so we're going to grab some trade interdiction. Great. Do we, have, we have three subs. Look at that. Now, these subs, they ain't great. They ain't the greatest, but that's okay. Oh, we got some of this, too. If that's the case, we're going to go for Disperse Industry 3. It's not that much ahead of time. And we want to see Serbia fall. Hungary's got this back. Vojvodina. And, okay, then. Industrial Unity, Kingdom of Serbia is gone, Italy's looking pretty nice. Are they? They're not guaranteed by France. Oh, the Warsaw, oh my goodness. Let's finish off this with Crisis Resolved. With Economic Crisis finally resolved, we can turn our attention to much more important matters. And we get political power from that. Great! And we are stalling how or when we're going to tell everyone that we're going to be independent from the crown. But I'm going to end that episode here. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we watch Europe burn that much more hotly. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.